ocean, moving on so far away and dreaming. Quality sea makes it to ocean. Yeah, I was going to go to Cambridge, but I didn't really want to be part of that, you know, hoity-toity culture thing. I mean, didn't get me wrong, I would have fitted in. It's just I'd rather be here, you know, with my kind of people. I wanted to give something back. Can I say that? Well, first I thought about being a nurse. But then my mate Teresa, she says I look like a top slut and white, so... <laughs> and then then I, then I thought about being a journalist, because cause I'm good at using the spell checker on the computer and all that. But then I heard the hours went very good. So, here I am doing beauty therapy. It's sh uh, My name's Martin Ritchie, I've studied in leisure and management here at Aberdeen College of Fine Arts. I've just been here over six months. What do you do at the weekend? Pub. What do you have? Lager. What kind? Miller. What pub do you go to? Black Bill. Ah, right. Where's that in? Aye, uh, people call me John. And uh, what are you studying? Uh, graphic design. I'm studying history. I've always loved learning about things that have gone before us. Someone once said that to improve the future, we must look upon the past, and I think that's very true. This place could certainly do with some improvement. Do you know where the Black Bull is? Busy weekend? Not really. To watch Mrs. Doubtfire on Saturday night. What? Mrs. Doubtfire, the film. No, I was out. It's really quite an interesting story about how far a man will go to see his children. Did you know that? I need to go. Well, I decided to study psychology because I've always been a good judge of character, you know, with people. It's like I could tell what they were thinking before they even know what they're thinking. I think that's why I get along with everyone. Hey Martin. How are you doing Alice? Not too bad, you? Are you okay? Good. You got many classes today? Um, I've got one this afternoon but I've got some research to do this morning so... Yeah. I don't really know why I chose this course. I think it was because I didn't want to end up in a dead end job like my dad. And don't get me wrong, I'm not ashamed of my dad. It's just he's in a job that he doesn't enjoy and can't afford to take time out of work to go educate himself or anything better. And my dad's always said to me, um, don't make the same mistakes as he has. And um, I think that's good advice coming from the man that looked after the bearded lady at the circus. Design proposal by John Reeves. Don't really like this font. Should have made it bold. How do you spell truncheon? Well, I've been thinking about Liam for a couple of weeks. I mean, it's not that I can't do the work. Like, I can put lipstick on without getting it all over my teeth, which is more than a tutor can do. I just, I just, I just don't think I'm suited at being a beauty therapist. They're all thick. Is Blackpool in England or London? England. Are you sure? Yeah, I think they'll also find that London is in England. <laughs> How can a country be in another country? Yeah, it's a story about how far a mum goes to see his children. I know, I've seen it. Still doing research. <laughs> ah, Martino, how are you, my friend? Not bad, mate. You work at the heart of the computer? Yeah. 
What do you do? Just looking for stuff on the net. Eh? Ah, very good. Right, listen mate, could you maybe help me with a psychological assessment? Um, it's pretty easy, only 20 questions. I won't take you that long. Uh, yeah, sorry mate, I'll just remember what the time eh? Ah, it's okay. Then we watched Colombo last night. No, no, I don't think the college is that bad. I mean, it does have some historical value. In 1363, a leper hospital was actually founded on this very site. I mean, the monks used to look after the lepers as best they could, but it wasn't until the early 17th century that the disease finally died out. At least, that's what they tell me, anyway. Pardon me, ma'am. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to scare you. There's just one thing that's been bothering me. You said last night when you came in the house, you came in through the back door. Is that correct? Well, if you did come in the back door, how did you know there was no towels in the bathroom? <laughs> uh, well, see, see you later. Oh, well, look, it's weird, old John. What a freak. You're just a bit shy. I'm glad I've got a boyfriend. What is that supposed to mean? Well, I don't know what somebody like him chatting me up. Not that I don't get chatted up. Well, I'm going for a fag. I mean, I was under the impression that university was for people with at least half a brain. Nah, I'm being a bit harsh there. Most of the people here are alright. It's just the odd few that make Victoria Beckham look as clever as Stephen Hawking. Actually, they do quite look quite similar. Right. Would you describe yourself as tolerant, patient, ambitious, sympathetic, mm. spontaneous, passionate? Okay, let me just tally up your score. Ah, interesting. It says here that you're a complete wanker. <laughs> No, it, d it doesn't really. Sarah goes outside for a cigarette. She discovers John jumping around in the bushes. He informs her that the college might be closing down. I really don't know where these ludicrous rumours spring from. I mean, I'm just at the stage now where I just don't give a f Sorry. Well, I'm not bothered. I'll, I'll just get a job as a hairdresser. Like, I shaved my nan's head last Tuesday, and she wouldn't have went to the bingo if she looked like a pudding, would she? Permanently. Closing? Oh, I wouldn't believe everything you hear. There's always some rumour going around. I mean, just every day I had this rumour this guy was going to butter the hell out of me for being an irritating <laughs> And although I had Sarah saying she f***ing hated my f***ing guts, and would rather f***ing die than f have to talk to me. But that's just the way we are up here. We didn't like to take ourselves too seriously. If you have my Colombo impression. 